Dodge Cornet. What made this model so special and sought after? Stay until the end and find out how the Dodge Cornet left a strong mark in the world of automobiles around the world. The Dodge Cornet made its first appearance on the automotive scene in the 40s, when the first generation was launched an elegant and powerful sedan. It had a classic elegant design with fluid lines and came in different body styles. The interior featured a spacious cabin with an elegant and intuitive dashboard for the period. Furthermore, there was a limited edition for the first Cornet featuring a limousine body that has four doors and can accommodate eight passengers. But the real magic of the Dodge Cornet is under the hood. From the powerful inline six-cylinder engines with 3.8-liter engine and a power of approximately 103 horsepower to the V8 of 4 liters and 140 horsepower. Also throughout the first generation, Dodge received various facelift versions that included changes brought mainly to the grid. In the 1950s, the Dodge Coronet experienced a significant evolution in terms of design and performance. The second generation appeared with smoother lines and distinctive details, the grille was reduced and integrated into the hood, and the headlights were positioned lower. Moreover, the engine was upgraded with the Red Ram Hemi V8 injection system, which offered 140 horsepower. This generation introduced innovative features such as air conditioning systems or improved audio systems. Thus, this generation of Cornet was a great success among the public, being appreciated for its attractive design, strong performance and comfort. In its third generation, the Dodge Cornet returned to being a full-sized car and adopted the classic American muscle car style, with strong lines, prominent fenders and a robust presence on the road. The front grille has become more aggressive and distinctive, giving the car a charismatic and imposing look. At the same time, the Dodge Coronet came with a varied range of engines. Available options included V8 engines of various capacities, ranging from 5.2 liters to 7.2 liters. It was also then that the first boats version of the model appeared, called Dodge Coronet Lancer D500, which had a V8 engine of 5.2 liters and 260 horsepower. In 1957, the Coronet received a new design and was equipped with rear wings and twin headlights, in the typical style of the era. Under the hood, it received a new V8 Hemi engine of 325 cubic centimeters, which produced 285 horsepower. In 1959, the Coronet was relegated to the lowest level of the Dodge lineup, replaced by the Dart, Polara, and the Matador models. After five years' hiatus, the Dodge Coronet reappeared in 1965 with a more modern and sporty design. It was the year the muscle car era began, and the Dodge Coronet wasn't far behind. In 1965, it was available in the 383cc V8 engine, and in 1966 with the legendary 426 Hemi, which produced 425 horsepower. It was one of the fastest and most powerful cars of the time, capable of reaching speeds of over 200 km per hour. In 1967, the RT version appeared, which was intended for those looking for a sporty and luxurious car. In 1968, the Super B version appeared, which was aimed at those looking for an affordable and aggressive car, and both were available with the Hemi engine or other more economical options. In the 70s, the Dodge Coronet again underwent major changes, both aesthetically and technically. In 1971, it received a new front design with round headlights and a split grille. In 1971, Dodge Coronet RT is considered the rarest vehicle in the lineup with only 2,615 produced. The Dodge Coronet RT features a 440 Magnum V8 engine, which was considered a powerful engine at the time. In keeping with the changes and trends of the automotive industry at the time, the 1975 model made the transition to a more aerodynamic and modern design with a squarer look as well as a new front fascia with two round headlights. During that time, the American car industry was affected by regulations regarding pollution emissions which determined the reduction of engine power and their adaptation to the new standards. 
Engine options therefore included inline six-cylinder and V8 engines, which offered a varied range of power and performance. Dodge had another try in 1976, the final model here for the Dodge Coronet, and its body style options were reduced to four-door wagon and four-door sedan. Consumer preferences have changed, with increasing demand for smaller, more efficient cars. Thus, in 1977, Dodge discontinued the production and sales of the Coronet. However, the name Coronet remained in the memory of fans and collectors of classic Dodge cars. Thus ends the story of the Dodge Coronet, a car that crossed seven generations and marked the history of the American automotive industry. We hope you enjoyed this episode and please follow and like us if you want to see more classic car videos.